One guy down. I need some backup there. Alright, I was trying to reset him there so we could do a sneak attack. But uh, oh no! This was the Tika. Team Tika. Woo! I don't know how we beat. I don't know how we beat that. PvP is an honor, and you did not have. And hello there, and this is King of Trying It, Trying It here with another dope video. All right, so this is just an update of the game, what's happened, what's new. Stay tuned on like how certain things work, how to get certain locks and keys, how to get certain anything, all right? So just stay tuned for that. I, I got uh, like a course tomorrow and I've got a test tomorrow. So uh, this is the best I can do and I'll get straight on it tomorrow. All right, so over here firstly is a dope place called Desperate Foothills. You will find, you know, a thingy me jig here. No, I'm getting out of thingy me jig. But you will find a PvP sign on the top left. It will say Marauder Mode will allow you to attack the players, but they will be able to attack you back. Do you really want to activate Marauder Mode? So when you do that, there will be like a buffing bar. This bar is very similar to another game in I uh, called Life After, where if you are in Fast Star City. You have to play PvP mode basically, and then you're able to attack each other. It's kind of the same pretense, and then you obviously it takes time to turn it back off. All right, so don't worry about it. Play with the button on and off. You can basically turn it back on and off with no issues. All right, so have fun with that. So people tend to misunderstand how this works. All it is is just you turn it on and off. And it allows you to attack each other all right on the map you'll see like a silhouette of like a light green thing that just means that you know you can't attack them red means you can so this is the normal dungeon but if you go on further if we can find it again there is a new and improved maximum mad dungeon which is quite exciting and for players like myself well we still got some high armor some high equipment so to be honest it's definitely going to be something um, Eclipse are going to be hopping onto and checking out. So like I said before, just hold on, chill out. We'll be there as soon as we can and we'll show you what it's like. All right. Also, I want to mention as well the system of this, which is the building system. So look at that skills. <laughs> This building skills, right? So the steel metal rooms are literally only twenty dollars. Now twenty dollars to some people or some kids is a lot. Okay, full stop. Right? If you ain't got it, it's a lot of money. But if you've got it before Frostborn, you know, realizes what they've done, <laughs> giving people metal walls for only twenty dollars, which in in UK money is like fifteen, maybe thirteen pounds. That's nuts. And it's quite a big space as well. It's not like, it's quite a lot of steel plates. Remember, there's only 25 plates for a door. Okay, and if you've already got some of the materials already, that's pretty, pretty dope, okay? So the only thing I can say is, definitely, definitely get on top of that and check it out. I'm actually trying to find a new dungeon for you guys, but I'm not finding it this time. All right, well, we need to, wait. Yeah, we need to head back now anyways. This is the quickest way back. <laughs> uh, now, this is what I'm saying. If you're going to get your £20 thing here, or $20 thing, this is what I suggest you make. You make a thing called a PvP chest or area. Now, in hindsight, of course, if your people come in here, or if they watch YouTube King of China's videos, they'll break in, take all the best loot, all your armor and stuff's in here, right? Of course, it's dangerous. It's too quick, man. It's too quick trying it. But what's good about a PvP chest, if you're active and you play the game, this method only works if you play the game, okay? If you come on every time, you're going to be raided and you've got a clan system and all that, this will work. Also, the Nord Bomb's not in the game yet. And then when it comes in the game, it's going to be something that's quite rare. Okay, it's going to be really, really rare. So it's not something that people are just going to be able to blow up. Of course, if this is an infamous thing that I've heard so much about and have been accused of, it's this mad dupli glitch. 
And then obviously if people duplicate bombs, then that's going to be an issue. But I'm sure Kefir, the strong and amazing team of Frostborn, have worked to that and that shouldn't be a problem anymore. So again, I do highly suggest it's taking a, a great advantage of this thing here, this building thing. I'm telling you, 80% is nuts. It is nuts. Look at the steel plates. 30, 380 steel plates. 380. Now look at how much it takes me to build it. No, it's not that. <laughs> there we go. 25. 25. All right, and that's just that's for the door. The door's more expensive by five steel plates, and then you've just got the rest of the walls, which will be twenty, with um twenty tin um, plates, I believe. It might be fifteen. I can't remember, but it's not a lot at all. So I suggest one of you out of the four of you just put that money in, or actually four of you put five pounds or five dollars together. That's nothing. Five dollars together, spread it out amongst all of you. Um, twenty five. And 320, so there's 20, 40, 60, and another 25, 80, well, maybe 85, yeah. 85 steel plates, okay? So that's for four walls, yeah? That's, just, and that's to be honest, farm this tin, all right? Just farm the tin, but you can use it from the buying thing. Um, so that's 85 steel plates times that by four. That's 160, uh, 240, 320, 320 to steel plates. And what have we got here? So I'm just doing rough math here. I'm not doing expert mode because I am tired because I, I got a test tomorrow. I shouldn't be doing this, but I do care about you guys a lot. So I just pushed the limit. So yeah, getting this metal chest room will be enough to do all four of your PVP rooms. Okay, that's amazing. That actually gives you enough. All right, so I highly suggest it while it's still low before they change the mind. It might even be just for one day. So. <laughs> guys go nuts get it sorted all right in terms of all the other updates i'll get to you guys as soon as i can and um yeah wish me luck for my test tomorrow all right so this is king of trying it always trying it i'll see you in the next one on more frostborn updates one guy down i need some backup there all right i was trying to reset him there so we could do a sneak attack but uh, oh no! This was Team Tika. Team Tika. Woo! I don't know how we beat. I don't know how we beat that. PVP is an honor, and you did not have. I've been doing a lot of content today, and this is, I think, very stupid. But I'm just hoping maybe I can go in and just check for some content really quickly and come out. That's what I'm hoping to do. Oh, okay. It's been late already, so someone's been in here. There's a bird. That's not good. <laughs> 